Back in medieval Britain, the Christmas season wasn't quite as quiet and calm as it is today. Instead of stockings hung by the chimney with care, the season was known more for mischief, mayhem, and all kinds of merry madness. From the Feast of Fools to boy bishops, bean kings, and lords of misrule, the season was filled with role reversals, revelry, and all-around rowdy behavior. The Feast of Fools was held on January 1st each year and tended to live up to its name. During the feast, partygoers would elect a false bishop who would joke around and act like they were in charge, even poking fun of the higher-ups. Why? Who knows? But it sounds like they had a lot of fun. The French had their own version called the Bean King that eventually made its way to parts of England too. Why Bean King? Well, a big bean was cooked right into a cake, and whoever was lucky enough to get the slice with the bean would become king of Christmas. By the 1400s, this status-swapping Christmas tradition morphed some more. During certain holiday feasts, a random choir boy was elected boy bishop. Dressed in their very own tiny bishop outfit, they would assume all the hoity-toity duties of the person in charge leading processions and preaching to the people with predictably chaotic results. For a few years, the wild winter custom fell out of fashion, but made a glorious return in the late 1400s thanks to King Henry VII, who brought it back, but this time with another twist. They would elect a Lord of Misrule to preside over the entire Christmas season and the festivities surrounding it. Their rowdy reign usually lasted 12 days, but could sometimes last up to three whole months. The Lord of Misrule would wear bright colors from head to toe, tie little bells to their legs or hat, and deck themselves out in scarves, lace, ribbons, jewels, silver and gold. The lucky person elected to the role could use their temporary lordship to pull rank on anyone they wanted, even actual lords and ladies. They brought along a jester who would hold mock trials for anyone who offended them and worked to make sure the season was as chaotic and fun as possible. This meant everything from feasts, dancing, and songs to games, plays, pranks, masquerades, and all sorts of other disorderly forms of merrymaking. By the early 1500s, organized holiday mayhem reached its absolute height. King Henry VIII took the throne in 1509 and seemed to turn the dial up to 11 on, well, everything, unruly Christmas traditions included. His festivals were well known for their huge feats, endless treats, elaborate productions complete with plays and songs and dancing, and even a mock battle. By the 1550s, a new queen came to power and passed the role for organizing real celebrations to her Master of Revels. And just like that, the Lord of Misrule was no more. With the royals no longer organizing official hijinks, most of the rowdy Christmas traditions fell out of fashion all across England. By the 1800s, Christmas had transformed into the calm, cozy holiday we know today. So this holiday season, have as much fun as you can. And if someone tells you you're being too unruly, well, just say it's a Christmas tradition. Thank <laughs> you.